In this video, we will see how we can save image from Google Earth Pro and easily georeference in QGIS. So let's get started. First, open Google Earth Pro and zoom to your desired location. Uh, before saving image always keep it to the north click on this and this is perfectly positioned to north uh, suppose this is our region of interest always take little more area in e every side uh, which is out of your region of interest uh, now we will add uh, four markers in four sides so that it will be easier for us to georeference in QGIS. Let's do that. Click on the marker, add place mark, and move it to one corner. And rename this place mark with the longitude and latitude. and press OK. You can see that latitude and longitude is shown in the markers level. It is really necessary for us to georeference in QGIS. Let's do it in another three sides. First longitude and then latitude. Okay. Now another one. Okay. And another one in the bottom left. Okay. Now we are ready to go to save the image. Let's click on File. Save save image here you can add some map options you can uh, turn on title legend scale compass here not compass and another html area in html area you can use logo image or other iframe elements so that you can design your map here but for our purpose we do not need anything we just need a clean image so turn off this and you can also change the resolution from here let's go for maximum resolution and click on save image let's name it image google Earth and save. Since we use the maximum resolution, it will take some time to save the image.
the image has been saved so let's go to the QGIS and let's add uh, the Google satellite imager here if you want to learn how to add this satellite imagery plugin you can watch this video Now let's import our image here is our image if we zoom to our image then we can see that this is a really high resolution image But since this image is not uh, georeferenced, it is not aligned to the actual place. Let's do the georeferencing. For that, go to layer, georeferencer, and open raster. We put our raster. zoom to the left top point here we can see the marker with the coordinates let's add a point on the tip of the pin and here we need to provide the map coordinates so let's import the longitude first. Seventy three eight thirteen point five four. Here you need to provide degree minutes and second with a space without any degree minute second symbol and let's put the latitude it is 45 36 and 13.33 and place click on ok one marker is one point is placed so let's go for second one It is seventy four fifty one eighteen point five four and forty five thirty six forty nine point four five. Okay, and third one. Seventy four, fifty four, fifty six point five three, forty four, forty nine, twenty four point two three. Okay, and the last one. It is seventy-three, 
six forty three point forty three point one six and forty four forty eight seventeen point five two okay now let's click on start georeferencing and you need to fill up the output file name transformation type you can select linear or polynomial one two three let's go for polynomial one and it is automatically uh, written the output file underscore modified it's okay for now and let's click on ok and now place this press this start georeferencing again the image is now georeferenced let's minimize this and remove this one zoom to la layers let's add the open street map for visualization and turn off the google satellite you can see that our image is perfectly aligned and correctly georeferenced we can also turn this on and see it is almost accurate This way you can get the historical imagery from Google Earth Pro and use QGIS or ArcGIS and other GIS software for change detection and other maps. Thanks for watching.